one in the alley? Hey, Roger. Now, whenever you're using a string trimmer, it's important to wear safety equipment like these eyeglasses because a lot of stuff will fly up from that trimming that's going on. Also, ear protection. It gets really loud. Right. I like to use long pants for my legs and make sure my feet have good shoes on, too. That's very important. Yep. Now, I notice you're trimming right up against the rocks. Yeah, we have to do that. My husband will mow the lawn and he just doesn't get close enough, so I like to come around with a trimmer and clean up. Yeah, whenever you're trimming like this, I like to hold the trimmer nice and level and okay. just take it down so it looks like it's been cut and not cut right down into the grass. Gotcha. Now, I also use the trimmer to edge the bed. You can see here we have the edge of a bed yep. with a lot of grass growing over it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to start the trimmer. In this case, instead of horizontal, I'm going to turn it vertical and trim right along the edge. Okay. Now, Allie, here's something I don't like to see. You have grass growing right up to the trunk of this tree. Mm -hmm. If you use this trimmer, this nylon string will rip the bark right off of that tree and it could kill it. Okay. What's something we can do to keep it neat and cleaner under the tree? I'd like to see you make a nice little mulch ring around that tree and it would make it easier to mow around too. Okay. Now if you look, you'll see that this nylon string gets worn over time. It's getting shorter and shorter so it's not working properly. Right. But what we have is called a bump and go head or an automatic feed. While this is running, if you tap this on the ground, this string will come out. Sometimes it comes out too long, but that's mm -hmm. what this cutter blade is for. Okay. It'll cut the string to just the right length. Okay. Let me show you how that works. Now, the trimmer has to be running first for it to work. So I'm going to start it up. Now, see the line's extended out again? Yeah. Just the right length? Yep. You're ready to go to work. Allie, eventually, after a lot of trimming, you're going to use up all your string. So what we have to do is we have to take off this spool. We take a push down, turn, and it pops out. Mm -hmm. Now this is where the string is going to grow. Now the first thing we do is we cut a piece of string about eight feet long. Okay. That is going to slide into this hole in the head. Now we're going to take and double the line and make sure it's even on the ends. Okay. Okay. Now, we're going to look on the bottom and it's going to tell us which direction to wind. In this case, it's going right. So I'm going to take this line and I'm going to start laying it around. And what I want to make sure is when it goes around, it lays down flat. Okay. And the reason we don't want twists is it'll stop the line from coming out. Okay, once I get it spooled on, I'm going to take and lock a piece here, make sure it's not crossed. This piece is going to come out and go in this groove here. Okay. Now it's ready to go on the head. Would you come over here and help me for a second? Sure. Just hold this up off the ground for me. Okay. What I have to do is align these knobs with the holes in the head, so I'm just going to twist these first like that. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take the head, slide the string through the first hole, and then I'm going to come through this side and pull it down. Now we're going to pop the head on. Lock it in place, pull and release both pieces of string. We are good to go. Looks good. Here's a brand new type of head that makes it easier to load. All you have to do is line up this hole with the arrow on the bottom. Okay. Then we're going to feed the string through. Oh, wow. It's going to come out. We're going to double it up so it's about the same length. Then you just take and turn this head. Every time you turn the head, that string is getting wound around the spool on the inside. You see how it's getting shorter and shorter? Yep. Before long, you're ready to go. That's great. That was easy. Yep. Now, this particular model has a curved shaft. Okay. The one I was using has a straight shaft. Now, what's the difference? Just personal preference? Exactly. Whatever you feel more comfortable with. Okay. Now, these both run on gas with oil mixed in it. The oil lubricates the engine. Okay. Now, here's another option. Electric. Now, any electric trimmer is going to be less powerful than a gas, but it is going to be quieter and cleaner. Okay. This is a corded model, so it's limited by how much cord you can use. So it's great for a small yard, not a big one. Okay. There's also a battery-powered one. What I find with these is they have even less power than the corded ones, so they are really for a small, small yard. This is something brand new I just found in the last few months. Take a look here. This is a straight shaft trimmer that's powered by propane. Now, how is that different from the gas trimmers? Because it's powered by propane, it's going to run cleaner and quieter and have about the same power as a gas trimmer. 
and you don't have to store gas. That sounds good. All you have to do is get a propane tank that's used on a camp stove. It attaches to the bottom of the engine and it'll power this trimmer for two and a half hours. Why don't you start it up and finish the beds? All right, sounds good.